This lowdown, dirty, can't wipe his ass. Piece of crap. Sorry excuse for a man, arrogant, full of himself. Low down, vinaigrette is going to ask Katina, what is your definition of a wife? I wish a vinaigrette would. I just wish somebody would do that next to me. Do you know that most wives, most women choose the full of himself, sorry excuse, piece of crap, can't wipe his ass, piece of crap, man. And dusties, dusties like Gil of this world. Do you know that? That is why most wives are the naked wife. You know why? Because wives, wives initiate 70 over, over. Now that is COVID. I have a check the new numbers. I'm sure it's 80% of divorces. You know why? Because most wives, most women choose the dusty, the gills of this world and the olapoopoos of this world that can't wipe their asses, but they're going to tell you how to wipe your ass. Make it make sense to me, girl. But it's Monday. It's Monday. I miss you guys all weekend. This is like a never for me. I didn't take Friday. I did a video Saturday, I think, right? Yesterday, I didn't. I was like, I have to get my books out to the format to, to print. It's like I've been stuck in this place where I'm not exactly happy with my Bible study cover. So along with my editor and my girls, we kind of decided on a cover, okay, which is rare for me because, you know, I choose all my covers. But this time, it was just a struggle. And I told my cover design, I'm still not happy with this part. Could you edit something? And then reviewing my book to say to my formatter, okay, I love it. It's great. Duh, duh, duh. So basically that's what I'm doing, y'all. In the next week, two weeks, I will have three new books to you. A Bible study book and a men's journal and a women's journal in the next week and a half. And then in by the other week, I'm going to have my dating book ready, the guys I dated. So that's why I've been busy. But I miss you. Oh, I just absolutely miss you yesterday for all weekend. Plus, I was laid up in the bed watching movies and just relaxing and just, you know, just kind of chilling out and clearing my head so I can just send my stuff to the formatter and my book cover designers. Okay, send me the final co copy. Okay. We're going to talk about the truth about marriage this morning. What I say, the truth about marriage. I want to thank you for those of you who have picked up my books. You must get 23 types of guys. If you do not have this book, you must get 23 types of guys and you must get the naked wife because most women are, most wives are naked wives and ladies that are dating for marriage. You can avoid being a naked wife by reading these wives story and choosing better because you know what I always say, the husband husband you choose will determine the rest of your life. The husband, the man you choose to submit to come under, put your life. Her ears hurt my ears. I'm going to give them to my girlfriend. Once you hurt my ears, girl, there is no coming back. You have to go. You are putting your life in his hands and he's walking. Isn't there a song where he's in your hands. Some of you put something in Jesus' hands. Well, that's what you do as a wife. You're putting your life and that of your children in this man's life hands. So you must choose wisely. I'm going to step out on a limb and say that most 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Be sure to subscribe. I forgot to say I'm almost at my 17. I know I've been dragging, but I, let's hope we get this 17,000 today, tomorrow. And for those of you who have joined my Patreon, love you. I thank you. If you have not joined my Patreon, this is your way of supporting me on a monthly basis. I talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. You can tell me what books you want and I'll send them out to you. So if, if you are in my Patreon, all those three books that's coming out in the next week, I'm mailing them to you, okay? The truth about marriage. Most women are miserable in their marriage. And most men are walking around like a chicken with their head cut off because they don't understand the roles that they are supposed to play in marriage. This is why marriage should not be taken lightly. How many of you know that marriage was God's idea? And do not think that we're just down here doing nothing. No, no, no. Marriage is a role we are playing out because marriage, the truth about marriage is it is a picture of Christ and the church. In the book of Genesis, when God made Adam and Adam named all the animals and he was tending the garden, taking care of the trees and the animals and, 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 and the flowers and the butterflies, God said to himself, it is not good for man to be alone. But before that, God said, I will create man in my image. What that means is that like God created the heavens, God put a little G-O-D down here on earth to do what God did in the heavens. This is why marriage should not be taken lightly because marriage is a, is a, is a picture or a type typology of Christ and the church. So when you are choosing your husband, ladies, you must ask yourself, is he like Christ? Uh, what did Christ do? He loved the church so much that he laid his life down for her. So that means, ladies, if you are dating a man who is not loving you like Christ loved the church and he's not showing you that he can love you like Christ loved the church, you need to do what? Get up and walk away. Most women will marry the dusties of this world, the gills of the world, the Ola poopoos of this world. And then three months later, you gonna cry. And you know what I always ask, girl? What was he doing before you marry him? Don't tell me you didn't see nothing. Uh-uh, uh-uh. In all of my years of writing about marriage and dating and stuff, there was only one woman, one wife that I met that did not see the signs before she married him. And this was a couple that were married 20 years. And then after 20 years, he started doing drugs. But every other woman, you're going to tell me you didn't see it. Use a lie. And if you are born again, you're stupid. You know why you're stupid? Because you have the Holy Ghost. So even if you was in your flesh, even if you didn't see, if you were praying, if you were reading your Bible, if you were honestly seeking the face of God, Holy Spirit would have said, girl, you better leave that alone. That ain't it. So when y'all tell me, oh, I didn't know, I don't believe, I'm just letting you know, don't tell me that because I'm not going to believe. I don't believe you. Because we are daughters of God and he wants the best for us. So he's not going to not show you something that's not happening while you were dating. You're crying. You don't get flowers for Mother's Day, your birthday. Was he doing that for you when you was dating? No. So how do you expect for him to do that for you in marriage? Make it make sense to me. I commented <coughs> on my video uh, something I say, you know, me and my husband, I'm almost, I'm always ready. And someone commented, and I, I I had it in the group too. And the persons, I can't find it right now because I'm short for time. Go ahead, Janice, and say it for all the wives in the back. I kind of uh, laughed at that because that's the overall mindset, right? 
that that wives should be ready at all times. But let me ask you something. You're not loving me. You're not appreciating me. You're not you're not complimenting me. I'm working 50 jobs. I'm having 75 kids. I got to wash, cook, clean, and clean your ass, clean up after you, do homework, and still be ready at night. Make it make sense to me. People do not understand that marriage is Christ and the church. So what that means is husbands are active and wives are reactive. You want me to be ready whenever you're ready? You need to do me right, all right? This, this wifely duties, uh-uh. I don't use that wifely duties or husband duties in my house. You ain't never heard me say that, have you? I've been on YouTube for five years now. Have you ever heard me say wife duties? Uh-uh. Because marriage is not a duty. Marriage is ministry. It is ministry. So when that time comes for husband and wife to come together, she's always going to be ready because he's paying these bills around here. He's complimenting me. He's, he's, he noticed I have new hair. I sit on the couch folding towels. He comes sit beside me and fold the towels. He texts me throughout the day, baby, how you doing? When I cook the food, he said, oh, this is delicious, huh? This is the best food I ever had. He wants to help with the kids. Oh, I'll do the homework. Oh, let me clean the kitchen floor. Because husbands, husbands are to be like Christ. And they need to understand that in order for the church, the wife, to react, you need to do for me. You need to lay your life down. I, I don't understand y'all woman who you just lay there and let him have his way with you. I, 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 I don't understand it, okay? Kitty cat don't get, no, I mean, I be like, like Jasmine is going to say this week, you don't get my pants as wet. So most people, view and understanding of marriage is effed up. Excuse the language. They don't know. They don't understand. They put all the responsibility on the wife. Forgetting that Christ didn't put no responsibility on the wife. But you know why these men do that? Let's go back to the garden. You remember when God came in the cool of the day after Eve ate the fruit, nothing happened. Soon as Adam put his lips on it, uh, stuff started shaking. And all of a sudden they were able to see they were naked. And what did this low down degenerate? You knew he was a vinegarette. You know, Adam was a vinegarette. What did Adam do? Oh, it's the woman. It's the wife. It's the woman you gave me, God, as man, as husband. He didn't step up and say, I disobeyed you. And that is why today, until this day, husbands are blaming their wives and putting all the responsibility on their wives. And the foolish, stupid woman is accepting it. You see this low down. Dirty, dusty, huh? Unaccomplished, unestablished, want to spend all of Merla's money that the low down vinaigrette didn't work to build. But because we're husband and wife now, you should use your hard work money, to take care of me, and you need to stop taking care of yourself so you can take care of me. Then we see this dirty, nasty bum who on his wedding night, this idiot didn't even have sense enough to pick out a clean pair of drawers. Can't wipe your ass because that looks like poop to me. Is going to ask this poor woman. What is your definition of a wife? This low down vinaigrette who was hoeing, sleeping with mother and daughter, who was not preparing to be a husband, 
is going to ask her, what is your definition of a wife? Sir, what's your definition of a husband? Because you degrading her, beating her down about her cooking is not it. Now, let me say this. This is about four or five videos in one. For the weekend, I'm making it up. Ladies, the same way we want men to prepare themselves to be husbands, how many of you know we need to prepare ourselves to be wives too? Being a wife is not only about sex and weaves and wigs and long nails and looking pretty. Being a wife is also a part of learning to be a homemaker. I tell my girls, girls, if you can't cook, you need to cook and learn, master three meals, chicken. Bake it, don't fry it. You got to have skills to fry chicken. Barbecue it and pick something else and master those three things for you when you get married. Because no matter how established this man is, he wants some home cooked meal from you. My husband is a cook. That's his thing. You know how writing is my thing? Cooking is my husband. But ever so often, he'll ask me, babe, could you make me some curry chicken? Because, you know, I don't make it every day, girl. I make that for special occasion. Like he's going on a trip tomorrow. <sighs> I'm not going to make it. I made it for Valentine's Day. But, you know, he has another trip coming up. And he's going to be away for a couple of days. Then I'm going to make it. I send him home. I send him away full. Learn, ladies, to do a little bit of homemaking. Change your, learn to decorate. See this? This is pink. This is a pink tablecloth. It's for Valentine's Day. I decorate my house for every season. You Well, you've seen it. Valentine's, Christmas, Easter. We're taking down the Easter decoration, the, uh, the, the Valentine's decoration on my stairs going up, my blankets, my pillows. Well, you've seen them, right? Easter or spring is coming. I already start pulling out my spring stuff. See my spring count? Because men finds that sexy. I don't wash her clothes because it's just too much. We have a laundry service. But honey, when he comes, I put his stuff away. So ladies, the same way we want them to provide, protect, and profess. Listen, you got to learn to do something in the house. And this dirty vinaigrette, what, what, what right do you even have to ask her that question when you haven't prepared yourself to be a husband, when you still out here hoeing and carrying on? Sleeping with a mother and a daughter. And like somebody said in my comments, uh, Katina had a whole lot of mouth for Lindsay, for the white girl. Why you need to turn that mouth on this dirty, low down vinaigrette. And this is my problem with him. If he wasn't uh, out here hoeing around and being a hoe, my commentary might have been different. But because you were not preparing yourself to be a husband, because if you was preparing yourself to be a husband, you wouldn't have been out here hoeing around. You was just hoeing around last week and decided to get married. And now you want to check her? Talk about she is not at the level of woman that you want her to be? Listen, ladies, for those of you who marry the Olapupus of this world, you will never be good enough. Never. You will never be able to cook right enough. You will never be able to clean right enough. You will never be able to push the baby. I heard one husband said to one wife, she was having a contraction and he was like, stop yelling and screaming. I would have punched him in the mouth. And after I pushed the baby out, I would get up and go to the divorce court. You, How dare you? Unless you have felt contractions, you can't tell me to be quiet. But you know what? You know what I always ask, girl? What was he like before? If he wasn't kind, if he wasn't nurturing, if he wasn't protective, if he didn't, he didn't, you what the Bible said, Jesus, Jesus cleanses the church with the words of his mouth. What are husbands to do? You are to shower her with the words of her mouth. 
your mouth. If I put on, I just got dressed, Mike was in the bathroom when he come down. If he don't come put in my green dress, it's going to be a problem. But you know what? That's because that's who I marry. He compliments. Oh, I like your hair up. Oh, that color is very nice on you. So the truth about marriage, 99.99999% of people don't, don't understand what marriage really is. That's why so many people is getting a divorce. That's why 80, over 70%, maybe 80% of wives initiate divorce. Because when they realize they marry the Olapuvas of this world, who verbally abuse, abuses them, and can't wipe his ass, but he going to tell you about your ass, right? <laughs> and the dust is of this world who want to verbally abuse you. And then you realize I'm not, I can't do this. I can't take this. This is unacceptable. And by the way, shout out to the person in my comments who said, uh, it's funny how the reviewers are not given, didn't give Gil the same smoke they're giving uh, Ola Poopa. And I'm like, oh, really? Because he's doing the same thing. He's doing the same thing Gil did. Olupupu is guilt 2.0. There's no difference between what she did, what, what the Duster did and what he's doing to her. None. Not one difference. The only difference is most men... A lot of men are like Gills, unaccomplished, unestablished, looking for a woman to help him out and fix him up and spend her money. But I have to go. It's Monday, girl. It's Monday. Show me love in my Patreon. Okay, I have these books coming out. Everyone in my Patreon, get the books for free. Okay, my wisdom journal. I need reviews. I need reviews. 23 times, guys, you need this book, ladies. If you're dating, you need this book so you can know who these men are. The Naked Wife. Read this one, too, because you will be able to identify the men that's in the book. Because you know what? I asked a woman when I interviewed them, but girl, why did you marry? Everything you're telling me are reasons you should not marry a man before. So what? I have to go. I love you. I miss you guys. I'm going to try and come back later, but if not, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you. Talk to you later. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Remember my Patreon, and I have the three books coming out soon, girl. You got to jump on it. Jump on it. Love you. Bye.